All right, YouTube. Today we've got the situation where we have a observer or a listener who is hearing 60 decibels worth of sound. That sound is coming from a speaker which is located five meters away. And in this problem, we're gonna solve for both the power and intensity of sound coming from the speaker. Now decibel level is given by this equation. Now when you're given an intensity and asked to solve for decibels, that can be an easy deal. The problem is in this situation, we've been given the decibels and we're being asked to solve for the intensity and the math there can create some problems. So I'm gonna run through this and show you how to do it. First, subbing in our 60 decibels into the equation. We find we need to solve for the intensity. And cleaning up the algebra here, See, typically what happens when being asked to solve for the intensity here is, is people forget exactly where a log comes from. So to show you how to solve for this intensity, I want to digress a little bit and show you exactly what a log is and where it comes from. So to do that, I want to take a look at the value 10 to the 2, or 10 to the second power. Now we know 10 to the second power, or 10 squared, is 100. So when we have the function 10 squared, it yields the value of 100. And all a log does, or the log function, it simply tells us what value do we need to put next to 10 or what exponent do we need to put next to 10 in order to yield 100. And that is two, 10 squared is 100. See a log function simply runs this 10 to some exponent function backwards. 10 to the two equals 100. But if we say log of 100, that's gonna tell us 10 to the exponent which will yield a value of 100. Now there's one important piece to realize here, and that is that if we were to take 10 to the log of 100, we know the log of 100 is two, and 10 to the two is 100. So 10 to the log 100 is in fact 100. And this is gonna be important in solving back up here for our intensity, and I'll show you why. If I do 10, to each side of the equals sign here. 10 to the sixth is gonna be equal to 10 to all of this. And just like 10 and the log canceled each other out here, 10 to the log of something cancel each other out. And we're left with 10 to the sixth is equal to the intensity which we're solving for divided by 10 to the negative 12th. So solving for the intensity, we find the intensity of this speaker is 10 to the sixth watts per meter squared. Now knowing the intensity, we can solve for the power. So intensity is given by power over four pi r squared. So knowing the intensity, as well as the radius, or the distance between the speaker and the listener, we can solve for the power. And we find the power is 3.14 times 10 to the negative fourth watts. So this is how, given decibels, you can solve backwards for intensity and power. I hope you found this useful. And on that note, that's all for now.